Hey everybody, this is a Grumpy Old Guy Gaming, and, um, not gonna lie, it's been a really long day. Uh, just kinda home, relaxing, and thought I would play something a little simpler today. Just a nice little retro game, got the Intellivision Collection fired up here. Just switched over to the new computer today, still in the process of transferring things and, you know, making sure everything is working correctly. So we're going to take a look at Frogbog. Um, see the goal was to end a game with over 300 points. That right there tells you how low scoring this game is. The 300 points is our clear condition. I had hit it in my uh, test runs earlier. It was actually going to be the upload and then the audio was just all janked up because I hadn't taken a moment and actually adjusted the levels before recording. Uh, done so now, so hopefully it's a lot better. Guess I won't know till I look at it after, but you have these things. I'm going to go ahead and load it up. Instructions, uh, it's easy enough. You play a frog. We will be the purple frog. The computer will be controlled by the gray frog. This is a one or two player game. So if you had a second player, they control the gray frog. Gonna start out in this nice sunny day on a pair of lily pads in this little pond that's covered, you know, surrounded by reeds and everything. And various bugs are going to float by, and it's your job to jump from lily pad to lily pad as the frog, trying to eat as many bugs as possible, and you'll get points for each bug. Simplest thing on the planet. You can see right there, there's a tongue button, the X button. Um, I've never actually needed to use it. The tongue just sort of automatically darts out when the bug is close enough. So basically, I'm just going to be moving back and forth with the analog stick. You don't even have to hit the right direction. Uh, no matter what direction you hit, if you're on the left lily pad, you're going to jump right. And if you're on the right lily pad, you're going to jump left. That's about all the introduction this needs. Let's go ahead and play a few rounds. I think this is on like a three minute automatic timer, if I remember correctly. Go ahead and load it up see that bug just sort of lazily going by. We missed it the first time, got it on the second. First bug was really slow and kind of big, so we only got five points for it. The second one we grabbed was 25. And now we're uh, picking up a little steam. We've got 55 points. The gray frog, controlled by the computer, has yet to eat anything, so its score is still blank. Again, you only needed 300 points to beat this and unlock the bonus commercial. Up to 105. Ooh, two in one jump. How do you like that? Gray Frog finally on the board. Finds itself in a heck of a hole, though. Even with that second bug, we're up 130 to 15. Try and get some of these dragonflies. Okay, here's another slowly moving bug. Have to appreciate the level of art they got into this game. It reads really, really well. Kind of thing when I was getting my son into gaming. I wish I had got this compilation a little earlier, uh, so we could have played this. He got frustrated with a lot of games early, because buttons were just kind of more complex than they needed to be. I remember I picked up the uh, Cars 3 Racer for Switch, and I think I may have just turned them off racing games for life by accident. He just hated that thing. We've moved to evening now, uh, scores up to 240 with that last catch. We got into a nice little rhythm there. So yeah, after a couple minutes in the daytime, we moved to an evening scene. 
and then we're gonna have a brief dusk phase coming up, and then finally nighttime, which is sort of last call for the old bug buffet here. There's dusk, our sky is now a lovely shade of green. Not quite reminiscent of dusk I've seen anywhere, but hey, you got what you got. It was the early 80s. The system's color palette was, you know, limited. Robust for its time, but it has its limitations. 340, and that last bug is there. Gray Frog gets it, and there's the final 340 to 80. So that's round one in the books. Let's go ahead and load up round two. Go ahead and put our scoring. You can see we tied our previous high. Saving, and let's go ahead and play again. Picking up in round two here. Don't know why that tongue hasn't... There we go. Getting a little worried there. First couple jumps, just nothing. Really thought we had that bug lined up on our initial jump. Things moving the way they are, this could be a relatively low scoring final. Okay, now it's picking up. 40 to 20, make that 65 to 20. But yeah, I could see this being like a first game. Could also see it being a really fun party game. Like, especially if you have friends who aren't necessarily big into video games, or maybe haven't played since they were young. Pull out something like this, or Shark Shark, and it really gets them engaged, because there's not too much to figure out. You don't have to sit there and learn all of the buttons. Something to be said for simplicity, especially when gaming socially. I know right now it's still kind of tough to get together with people. But, uh... You know. For those chances that do arise, it's always good to have a go-back option. A fallback option, I mean. Sorry. Words just a little bit fuzzy for me right now. And that looks like a little gnat, and it's uh, dancing everywhere out of our hit zone. Those things are the big points, though, so we do want to keep trying. Caught one there, and we're at 305. So we're at least on pace for another 340. Would be nice to get the high score here, but in order to do that, you kind of need to actually eat a bug. Now it's not looking so good. It was looking good, and then we wasted that whole sunset phase, and we're into dusk, and we finally caught some more bugs. 325, 340, one more will do it. There we go, 345. That gnat is just really tough with it blinking like that against the night sky. There we go, we caught it. We got 370. That is far more excitement than ever needs to be had for this, but I'm happy. You can see we landed on our opposite lily pads after a tough competition, the gray and purple frog don't seem to want to talk to each other or really acknowledge each other. 
that may be some deep-rooted competitive issues coming to the surface. I don't want to delve too deeply in it. I'd much rather play again. But first, let's enter our initials, because, um... I am just going to keep doing it. If you wanted to read our high score table, it sort of reads like ga 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 ga. Not nearly as funny as I thought it would be. See, that's the problem with thinking exhausted. Everything is much better than it turns out. Theoretically, everything is much... Even this was a much better explanation. You get what I'm getting at. 40 to 5, we have a strong start here. And every time I, you know, pat myself on the froggy back for my frog bog play, it seems that I find it impossible to actually catch the next bug I go after. Really thought we should have had that dragonfly, but we got it on the way back. 100 points in no time. There we go. 115, 125. Those gnats. There we go. 180. Now we're rolling a little. I mean a very little. Oh. Greyfrog got that one. Boosted its score up to a quick 45. Kinda needed to. Failed three times to catch that bug, and the gray frog got it. Bit of a comeback attempt in the works for that computer player. There we go. 200. Two oh five. Things are looking good right now. Let's see if we can't just keep it going. Up to two thirty. Thirty-five, still in the evening hour. Dusk, two forty, two forty-five, two sixty. Catching fire at the right time, up to three o five. See if we can't just finish strong here. Give that three seventy a run. So there's really not a whole ton of strategy to this game. Time your jumps wisely, or just jump all the time and hope for the best. Either way it works. It's a nice, simple, fun game. Until you get to these gnats, then it's neither simple nor is it fun. I was kind of hoping it would fly off screen just to end things. Greyfrog catches it. We finish 340 to 100. Our favorite score on the planet, 340. And that's where we're going to have to sadly call this video a day. This has been a Grumpy Old Guy Gaming with Frog Bog for the Intellivision. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next.